to say. So we had the SID Display Week 2019 and uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm with uh, Photo Research. Uh, we're about 75 in years in the industry, manufacturing spectrum radiometers all the way to imager colorimeters. 75 years? 75 years. Well, one of the first companies to develop the picture optics and also the 2D imaging camera. Um, so the company is JDAC or? Yeah, we're uh, part of a product line of JDAC, which is uh, under Novantar holding companies. So, and hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Eva. And so uh, what, is, what are you showing here? So we are showing our full product line. So we have a wide range of spectral radiometers, uh, which are handheld. So this is more for QA, QC, uh, also for um, uh, field work. Um, customers could take it out in the field, do different type of measurements. And then we also have a different range of uh, handhelds, which ranges from the 655 all the way to the 680. So uh, what is the, who uses this? What is it for? Uh, mostly display companies, lighting companies are the main users. So a display company would take one of these and go to the display and measure? Yes, they would measure, measure the display and over here you're going to be able to get the full spectral uh, and color output from 380 to 780 which represents what the human eye sees. So you can see how well it renders at the different color stages across and the visible range. And what goes through here? Is like a so camera from, sensor kind of thing? Yeah, so from here the customer will look through the viewfinder and they'll be able to see the sample that they're measuring and then just take a measurement and it'll give you the full information. And what's connected here? Uh, so over here we have the different communications. All our U instruments are USB communication. We have RC32 available and also Bluetooth uh, option available. Nice. And what is this one? So then here we jump to our analytical side. So these are bench tops and basically the same concept. We have a wide range of them, anywhere from visible to NIR measurements and basically the same thing. So one thing that makes us very unique is that we don't have just one uh, standard unit, but we could basically tether the, tether the, uh, the unit for the customer. So we have different apertures, different bandwidths, different accessories. Yeah. So depending what the customer is doing, if it's one project or multiple projects, they can use the same equipment for that. So uh, what's the difference between this and this? Uh, it's going to be uh, basically uh, accuracy-wise and luminance range and uh, spectral range that they're able to measure. Nice. What are you showing here? So here we have our 2D imager. Uh, so these are major, uh, single spots yeah. where with this one is taking a full image of the whole display in one shot or also very popular with the automotive and aerospace industry. So they don't have to measure a single spot across which takes a long time. But with this, able to measure a full sample one, uh, with one shot and get all the information. And what's this, what is it showing here? So right here it's showing a luminance map. So it's showing how it's dropping depending on across the sample. So as you see on this corner here, uh, it's a lower luminance level, so it's not perfectly uniform. So nice. here the customer will go back and readjust the display or the sample to meet the specification so it's perfectly uniform. So the customer, is it the big companies that make displays and everything yes. like that? Yes. Or is it also small small companies? Anybody. Anybody can use it. So any 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 large companies and any startup companies they could use our product. Uh, anyway from R and D, manufacturing, QA, QC development, uh, field calibration, usage, you know. If they're going on the field calibrating uh, LED boards, for example, uh, displays, they'll be able to use it. The people who make quantum dot displays, they're very interested in checking all the colors and stuff. Yes. So they're big customers right now, no? Correct. Correct. So they want to check that and prove that they have better colors. Yes. From generation to generation of the displays yeah. and then also the uniformity and all the, the output. Is it very expensive or can people rent these or? We do have a, a, a rental program that they could rent it. Like a startup? Um, yeah, a startup that could rent it for a few weeks or a month. All right. And uh, you've been doing this for 75 years? Correct. 75 what, years. Uh, what happened 75 years ago? What was it? Uh, so usually the, the original founder, he was a director. And he needed to know what type of light source overhead to know what type of filters to put in front of the film camera to get Whoa. a certain effect. So that was for, for film cameras 75 years ago? Correct. So he developed the first handheld instrument. And from there, it basically you started getting a lot of requests for more analytical instruments to match the human eye. And so he started developing, which he developed the first Percher Optics, which is the technology that most of the spectro, uh, spectro radiometers Already 75 years ago, developed what's yes. still here now? Yes. And um, 
you base where? And uh, are you the leader in this, or I would say so. You have yeah. a bunch of competitors, or we have a few of them. A but few you of are them. the. You, the well, I, I would believe that uh, when it comes to the um, full line of spectral radiometers, we're one of the leaders in the industry. And where are you based? We're based out of Syracuse, New York. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank, thank you. you.